In this tutorial video, I want to show you the three more frequently used uh, functions that you're going to use every day. Every time you start a new project, you have to load the design, you have to set up the color sequence, and you have to trace your logo before you start stitching. So basically, this video, I'm going to show you how to load the design, how to set up the color sequence, and then how to trace your design before you start stitching. So if you have your design in your thumb drive, you want to place this into the port of the machine. Then uh, we want to press the three flower icon. And then we're going to press the disk icon. This window will appear and then we have that USB icon. So we press that. And now it's showing uh, the files that we have on the USB thumb drive. So in this case we want to load this design right here. It's a DSD format and if we want to take a look of that design we can press the magnify glass so right there will show you a picture of the design and some information like the name the stitch count how many color changes that it has and how many jump stitch that does this design has and um, once you confirm that that's the one that you want to load you press the album icon right here and now it's telling you that the, the design is going to be in memory 4 so you confirm this and then you exit this window and there he is there's our design it's on our memory it's on the memory of the machine uh, then you select the design that you wish to stitch and then you press the one needle and a flower icon and your design is ready so you turn your embroidery mode on and you will see that you have that design that you just load up now uh, after this you have to set up the color sequence so in order to set up the color sequence you press the two needle and a gear right here so right here is telling us that it has three color changes this design has three color changes all the designs come with a color color sequence if you buy the design from an online store or if you send your artwork to a professional digitizer it will give you a worksheet where it will tell you the color sequence of your design so in this case we have three color sequence and you can set up whatever color sequence you might have so I just randomly press some buttons there and then you press OK so now that I have set up my color sequence the next step that you want to do is praise my design okay every time you load a new design into your machine to your embroidery machine it's very important to create uh, a trace to do a trace basically it's to see if the design fits inside the hoop that you're using and the whole reason about this is uh, we want to prevent uh, to hit the hoop at the moment that the machine is stitching we don't want to the press foot to hit the edges of the uh, hoop because that can cause damage to the machine now in order to do that, I always recommend to do the trace on needle number one. That's the old style. Now new machines has laser lights. Uh, but I always recommend to, to move the sewing head to needle number one because since you have 50 needles on your machine, sometimes it's confusing watching the wrong needle. I mean that could be that it's it's very possible that you can uh mistakenly do the trace with the wrong needle and your trace is not going to be accurate so right now we are in needle number four and when you do the trace you can watch needle number four or you can turn on your laser light but i just want to recommend that every time you do a trace just move the sewing head to needle number one so that way when you uh check the uh the trace you are you are sure that you're watching needle number one. When you are doing the trace, you want to make sure that you're watching the correct needle. Okay? So to do the trace, you press this button right here. And then we got these two options, border check and outline check. The border check is basically a square around the uh, design. And uh, to me, I think it's not very accurate. Uh, I think the best way to trace your design is the outline check right here. 
because that will go through the outline of the design is going to be more accurate so you will see basically where the press foot is going to be working on the fabric that you want you that you want to stitch and that uh, allow you to see if that press foot uh, it's near the edges of the hoop so you want to want to stay away from the hoop so you don't want to crash that because that can cause uh, several damage to the machine and, and and that is something that you have to do every time you load a new design now uh, I got this question all the time if you have to do a trace every time you put uh, a f uh, uh, um, repeatedly uh, fabric let's say if you want to stitch 10 shirts uh, you have to do 10 traces no it's not it's just the first time you just when you are doing the setup you, you have to make sure that the design fits uh, into the hoop and, and that's basically it it's 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 just once per uh, new logo okay so every time you do a setup new logo you do the trace you confirm but you have to use obviously that same hoop and your whole project if you're stitching a hundred shirts you have to use the same logo for those hundred shirts if you change those uh, uh, hoops if you if you change the size obviously if it's smaller well that it, I will recommend to redo a trace but uh, once you have done the setup you don't have to trace every time you stitch that same logo so you press the outline check and then you confirm it Once uh, the trace is done, the machine will move the sewing head to the first needle that has been programmed. So that's why it's moving to needle number four, because that's the first color that I have programmed on this design. So that's trace basically, and uh, thank you for watching.